do I just keep randoming with the second clan? Or do I actually start looking for synergies? I don't know. What did you do again? Oh yeah, you did a lot of random reformations and you just kept dying. So yeah, we'll take the little street urchin with a knife. Daedalus Arceus. It's going to force me to use Crushing Demise, but that's okay. First things first, get our champion. Extinguish. Well, every time you extinguish and are brought back, you apply permanent buffs. Oh my gosh. That's right. I had this version of Little Fade. I think this one is significantly better if I can just keep resurrecting, so I'm going to give this version of Little Fade a chance. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. Well, we don't get summon abilities, now do we? But Concussive Coals, on the other hand, is phenomenal if we're trying to set things up. 50% for dazed when they first enter the floor. Alright, well, Mark of Invasion. Well, we start off with Torch and Little Fade. Little Fade has spikes one, so you will die from doing this. I don't need to revive you yet. I do need to kill you, you, and I'll cast Primitive Mold even though it does nothing. Second floor is meaningless. You're dazed. You're dazed. Um, I can torch you, so that's fine. I can't revive anyone. Can I cast this without me having a unit here? I can. That is... a lot better than I was originally thinking. Well, I can reform one guy. The biggest issue I have is I can't kill you. But... You will kill her. That's all that matters. I could restore health, but why would I? Get up here, um... We can pop some fire on you, I guess. And you're dazed. Sweet. Well, we'll reform Little Fade again. Purifying Cleanse. I want you to die, but at the same time, I also want you to deal damage because we need to work on getting your strength up immediately. If I can. And I'm going to ascend you higher because you should not be there. Because you'll just perish under the current circumstances. Do you only take one space or two spaces? I don't know. You take two. Little Fade takes one. Perfect. So you can tank a hit and you'll do the kill. Perfect. All right, that's th four slay triggers total. Wicklash, 10 to burnout friendly units. Ah, uh, to a friendly unit. I don't think that's good enough. I do need my units to die eventually, but I don't think that's good enough. I think Hollow Drippings might be good for the earlier versions of Little Fade. And we could plan on ditching it later. I guess we did have Hellhorn, so I could have taken the Summon tri Abilities trigger twice. I just didn't genuinely think it would work. But you know what? Welder Helper actually has some niche uses with Fade. Do I have units that matter? The answer is I don't think so. Melting Revenant tends to synergize with itself, so let's see if I can find something. Uh, I 
I can try Paraffin Enforcer. And then maybe buff it up. Yeah, yeah. You know what, that, that kind of starts to work. I could do a Strength Stone or I could re-roll, but if I re-roll, I probably won't have enough for the full bonus, so I'm just going to ditch one of the Train Stewards. I'll ditch two Train Stewards. Alright, keep moving. I just need Little Faye to die. You are the Sweeper. Enemies enter with three... Spikes. Little Fade would die instantaneously, but Little Fade was going to die anyway. If I gave him all spikes, you would die very quickly, but you have quick, so that means I could just make you sacrificial. You would die, you would die, but that would get you out of the way. Um... I think we can manage it. I think... So Little Fade will perish. <laughs> Ironically, this is actually probably the best result. Do this, and then we're just going to torch you. I don't care about the incant. You'll die, and then I can start reviving. I can't stop you. I wish I could, but I don't have that option. Little Fade is here. Do not steer clear. You'll burn out. You will kill him. That's surprising, actually. Uh, if I do this, that'll kill the one behind him as well. And make Little Fade burn out and die, but that's okay. Um, actually... And you perish. Excellent. I don't need to apply additional burnout just yet. I gotta remember that that's an option. Can I kill you off? Yes. And I can get rid of you. And nothing else matters. Little Fade lives, Little Fade sits down, and armors up, and burns out. And you'll burn out beforehand, but you'll gain rage. So you will die on the first swing, and you'll start healing afterwards. Okay, we can do one resurrection. Do we get Little Fade? We do get Little Fade. Little Fade lives. Little Fade wins. I'll pop you just because. And we can apply Burnout. Can I ascend you? No, we can't put units into the Pyre Room. That... That feels weird. I feel like I should be able to put, like, one unit or two in the Pyre Room. Oh well. Well, we're currently focusing on building a humongous little fade, if we can pull it off. Uh, none of this is useful. Eh, actually, the descend might have been more useful, but... We don't have many direct targets aside from Torch, but we can make that work. We don't need Hornbreak. Famous last words. Probably. Uh, is there a card to duplicate? The answer is no. Is there a card to buff? The answer is probably. Yeah, we could upgrade Paraffin Enforcer. And we can get Paraffin Thug. So our money problems might, might be solved. Maybe. A large stone. No, let's put it on the Paraffin Thug. More money in the long run is probably better. And we're going to leave. I'm going to see what we can get in the Concealed Caverns. Random event. Ho! Oh, hello! Winged man, winged man. Who do I want to give you? I'll get an upgraded version later, which gets significantly stronger. 
I could give him a train steward and just get a really buff train steward. But no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him some spare magic. The magic I'm going to give him is a torch. It'll be purged for the time being. And you will give me something significantly better at some point in the future. <sighs> it would leave me not able to get the best buff. But... It's not necessarily about being the best. However, 25-25 quick with a strike benefit actually doesn't sound too awful. We can give it a shot, and I'll just run out of money and get rid of the last train steward I can for now. I don't like train stewards. You might say it's irrational. I say they take up way too much space and do not deserve their life. All right, Mr. Professor. Oh, you will just die. That's just unf- Oh, I can't- I... We'll leave Little Fade first. Little Fade will kill you. The Paraffin Thug will swing afterwards. And the Paraffin Enforcer will be here. God, this is a really weird chain of events. I could ascend you. Actually, I will ascend you. Ascend the rearmost, he'll die. Do you not? Oh, you were dazed so the explosive doesn't go off. That is a very, very weird effect. Anyway, come back, little fade. We need you. Uh, you'll die. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. You'll die, but you'll kill her. Uh, we can torch you and torch you. So that's 40 gold so far, courtesy of the large stone. You take a lot of damage, but I think we can pull this off. Uh, a, we don't need you. Really, that didn't count as an enemy for the purposes of taking damage. I didn't expect that. Little Fade steps to the plate. We can purify and cleanse to make sure she doesn't burn out. You do the killing blow. I wish Little Fade could. But now's not really the opportunity. I could ascend you and just force you to take some damage. You take a lot more. But you'll die next turn anyway, so what does it matter? That's 60 gold. Okay, here's where a lot of them will die. So, you who attacks will die. Dealing one reflect damage, you'll attack, killing him, take one damage, you'll swing it, killing him. And you live. Fantastic. No units to reform. Um, I could kill the train steward, but I feel like that just degrades what I've got. With the paraffin enforcer up, and uh, you can have more burnout than I know what to do with. You can exist in paradise. There are the sleigh triggers. Those sleigh bells ringling, tin tin tingling too. Oh boy, it's a lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Uh, yeah, as of right now, you have a lot of damage, but I can't give you more. Let us start ascending you. Because if I ascend you... No, because the explosive still goes off. I could save you. I think I will. And for giggles and grins, we'll just kill it. We've already made all our money back. Fantastic. And you get the kill. So Little Fade does hilarious things. And we'll just make Little Fade do more hilarious things by making it so the Paraffin Thug actually gets the kill as well. Perfect. Yeah, okay. 
Yes, this is going to work out perfectly. The sleigh triggers go off, and we get to walk away with a buttload of cash. Ooh, Bounty Stalker. And a Devourer of Death. I'm thinking, do I want a Bounty Stalker as another one to start cycling? What do we got here? Grow a patient, joining the fight immediately and gaining strength with every move you make. Remove all burnout and debuff effects from a friendly unit. I think having a second one that grows faster is better. And none of you matter, so just leave. Um, what am I gonna do? Is energy a problem? Is card draw a problem? I think, since we're looking for two specific cards in our deck, we get the first one on the first turn, and then we need to cycle for very specific cards afterwards, I think Herzal's compound is better. Because we're not going to need the space, because they shouldn't be competing. So there's money artifact, but there's card deletion. Which is kind of what I'm looking for. Most notably, get rid of the train steward. Do I need another purifying cleanse? No. I should destroy one torch because torch is not that is going to start being very worthless. Dark Forge, what do we get? I I don't think this version of Little Fade for an extinguish is that great. Plus five, plus five, and burnout too. I don't think it's good enough. I think Little Icarus is better. Three spikes, three slay. Extinguish abilities trigger an additional time. Well, the Bounty Stalker will quickly become hilariously strong. And I kind of wish I knew I had this beforehand, because plus 10 plus 10 to all nearby units isn't horrible. But I didn't know. In the future, I will. But we'll just take it. You enter with spikes four. For a random artifact, I can't think of many that'd be very useful except the resin. And getting specifically resin off of that would not be good enough. What do you guys do? Triggers after combat, resolve. Uh, should I? It would guarantee a buff to you. So the answer is yes, I should. I would do a welder helper, but that's not going to happen. Actually, I could have killed him off. Perfect. Uh, we're going to ascend you up to get you killed by the pyre. Uh, we're going to place you down here to do some actual killing. He says, in truth, I've got so many options, but so little time. I should put the Paraffin Thug, but what I should do is reform, bring back Little Fade, and play Little Fade. Kills you. And we'll do the Paraffin Thug for a Slate Trigger. You'll be alive for next turn. You die, that's exactly what we need. You die, that's okay. I don't have anything to revive with. I'm just gonna kill you off because you're annoying. Uh, no one to reform. We can hollow drippings, that'll just get it out of the way. And you take 31, but it's not enough because Little Fade is just not strong enough yet. But we're working on it. Oh boy, we are working on it.
you are almost dead on the first turn. Almost being the operative term. Uh, I can't kill you yet, but I'll be able to get someone who can soon. Do I need the Welder Helper? Would the Welder Helper be useful yet? No, I should save it. But, I ping you once, you died a little fade, meaning all future ones of you will also die a little fade. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. Perfect. Put you here and crushing demise. You die. That's fine. Uh, we're going to do a reformation, and it's a bounty stalker. You have burnout one. I want you to perish, so you'll perish. The healing is not going to do anything. Oh, you don't swing. That's a problem. Uh, primitive mold. Put you here. Put you up. And you'll guaranteed die, but you'll deal some harm. We're not ascending a boss. That seems like a bad decision. Oh, but you have stealth up, so you die anyway. Okay, well... Talk about dumb decisions. Uh, none of these are good, so we'll just wait. Alright, now we have three units to resurrect, but we can cast all three of them back. There's Little Fade and the Bounty Stalker. I kind of want the Bounty Stalker to die. If I place down Little Fade, will Little Fade get the kill? Little Fade physically cannot get the kill. Placed on the Bounty Stalker, you will also die. But you together might do some hysterical things if you could be together. Close. Close, but no cigar. Bounty Stalker, uh, we can think about. Okay, you'll just actually die. Alright, that's fine. I'll put you up. You'll drop dead anyway. I is eight is sixteen damage on you worth it? I don't think it is. I think we're just gonna let Bounty Stalker to kill him. If I was able to resurrect Little Fade there, then yes, it would have been worth it because Little Fade would have just killed him anyway. But that's not what happened here. Uh, we could use a Sacred Wix. Do I want a Memories of the Melted? I don't have any X-Cost cards, and the X-Cost cards are not strong enough. So yeah, we'll just take a Sacred Wix. Pyre Chomper and Impressive are great, but I'm actually just going to take Inferno, because I feel like an Inferno at the final fight will be phenomenal. Hello, Winged Man. Gain a 25 gold every time I cast it. I... Hmm. What are my next routes? I would get it after the next, so I would have... Oh, I'd have plenty of fights still to go through. Because I'd get it here, I'd be able to use it for Arceus, and I'd be able to use it in the next battle, just before Seraph. So, uh, I'll hold on to it. We are going to have money. That is our superpower, that is our calling. I can up our pyre health by nine. Is there any spell I would love to use? Inferno, yes, but I think actually upgrading our statistics is better. So, endless, no, no, that ruins the synergy. So, denied. Wickstone, on the other hand. The Bounty Stalker can die off instantly. And that actually is probably for the best. So, go in, you die. Perfect. Reroll. Multi-strike. 
you know what? That works. I was hoping for something slightly better, but you know what? It doesn't always it, it doesn't always work. Are we purging cards? If we are, what are we purging? We are purging not Welder Helper, that is actually useful. Uh, primitive Mold? Mm, no, Hidden Passage, we only need like one. And then a single Primitive Mold because we have not, we don't have enough cards to resurrect all of them. What do we get here in this random event? Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. We could make Inferno cost zero and just have a universal screw the entire world button. I don't think that's a good idea. The Paraffin Enforcer is going to start falling off. And I think the Paraffin Thug too, especially considering we're planning on replacing it before the next fight with something objectively better. Because the next section, if I could look at this, next fight, we're going to get the replacement. And then we're going to get to Arceus. Then we're going to get to the next battle. So we don't have a Merchant of Magic. Painful. But I think I'll be able to get something out of the trinkets. So for the meantime, we're just going to upgrade a unit and add Purge. And we're just going to give it to the Paraffin Thug. He will be our strongest man. Non-boss enemy units gain multi-strike. It's kind of convenient. Whenever a unit dies on this floor, you gain armor. But we kind of want our units to die off. Because the paraffin thug is too thick right now to die in one turn. You're quick, so you'll attack first. You're strong enough and can't be hit on the first turn anyway, and Fade just needs to die. So I think we'll take it. We'll give a random artifact a shot. Ooh, they're all dazed too. Alright, well... These two are going to drop dead immediately. I wish you had one more health. I wish he had one more bit of health. You pop in, you'll kill him next turn. He gets purged. That's that's all right. You burn out. Do I want you to burn out? I can avoid it technically. I could put the paraffin enforcer up. Nah. Nah, nah. If I put you up, you'd kill him. You'd still attack. You'd attack twice, you'd kill him. But that's not what I need right now. Oh, you're dazed. That's... that's fantastic. Except you still die. What'd I do with you? Do I just... Wow, I actually think I'm going to do it this way. Little Fade pops in, crushing demise to both. Resurrect again, pull out Little Fade. And they all perish now. You to Little Fade, you kill those two. You kill this one, and we're good. You die, that's fine. You kill this one, you kill both of them. You live, you climb up, That that's, that's fine, all right. I could save Little Fade and that would kill you. Nah, nah, I want Little Fade to die. The Bounty Stalker will die next turn. Primitive Mold. Um, yeah, we'll put up Little Fade. You drop dead. So you pop and die. 
Little Fade swings into you, you die. And you swing killing him, and the only one that lives is the Quill Marksman, who will die to the Paraffin Thug, which will get us more gold. Alright, I think I can accept that. Brief respite. Do I Inferno so I could Sacred Wix the two of you to refresh? Well, your Burnout wouldn't really refresh. But I think I do. Award for weirdest end result and idea goes to me for this shenanigans I'm pulling off here. Okay, you sweep. Uh, if I purify and cleanse, you won't. You'll die to him. Oh, you have lifesteal. Screw your lifesteal. Eh. Why do I care about your lifesteal? We're going to be dealing so much damage to you, it's not even funny. Um, I can primitive mold. Only once, but I don't really care who it gets, as long as it gets someone. Little Fade works. I don't know who gets the kill in this. Quite frankly, I don't think it matters. Okay, I guess the Paraffin Thug. 400 gold for free. And we get the Rail Hammer, which is additional four stacks of armor. We have the money. We could get something armor related later. Uh, Little Fade is dying all the time. Bounty Stalker is also dying a hilarious amount. So I might just take Memento Mori. It's my imp in a box. No, we're not ruining our synergy with this. Okay. The old winged treatment. What's the full buff? Thirty-five gold, and the cost is reduced to zero. Basically, it means we always cast that if we have an available target. Uh, what do I do here? Trinkets or random artifact? Trinkets is just an artifact of my choosing, so we always take this here. Because you're already full, you're full, and we have no other units aside from the Welder Helper. Oh, the Welder Helper applies armor. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, concealed Caverns first, because we don't know if we're going to get money or, mer or a random trinket from here. Hello. Perfect. And we're going to lose our Pyre health, because we have... A restoration that comes later, and friendly units enter with armor 5, meaning they enter with armor 9. Sweet. And I think this is a full heal. Welcome to the synergy. <laughs> Memorial fund? Yes, please. Reroll. Spells get an extra upgrade slot. Friendly at units get plus three health. I don't think friendly units gain plus three health is going to matter. But spells getting an extra upgrade slot could come in handy. All right, Arceus. What do you got? All right, and you got the Looming and the other Dark Shard. Basically, just be careful where you cast your spells. But I've got the luxury because I have very few direct damage spells that matter. All right, Little Fate pops in. Uh, you will, wait, how do you perish? Oh, your armor. Oh God, I didn't think of that. All right. I am so down with this. Uh, we're going to put the Bounty Stalker on the... Here, the Weight of Contrition? Yes. We'll put Bounty Stalker on mid-floor. 
you were meant to die, you're gonna die, bye little Fade, you won't, I don't have a reason or anything I can do to resurrect, and I don't want both of you guys to die, just one. But I can torch you. But that doesn't result in a kill, and I care about the kill more. Since no spells are being cast here, and this is just when one of my units dies, I will swing this at you. And you are when spells are played, so that's okay. Uh, we can return two units. What are the two? Little Fade and Bounty Stalker. Bounty Stalker being dropped will guaranteed kill you. You'll swing, but you're not getting through. He'll put you down. Ho ho! I could put Little Fade. Yeah, you hit hard enough. Torch you. Little Fade here. You drop dead, but you kill him first, so that's fine. Right, you're the Dark Shard, that's fine. Bounty Stalker kills them both, that's fine. Memento Mori hits for 30. Uh, I could put Little Fade. But Little Fade doesn't... Little Fade doesn't change anything down here. But you burn out anyway, so we'll just drop you. I, I don't see a reason not to. I want Bounty Stalker to die anyway, and since we don't care about spells cast, we'll just swing. Uh, you're the spellcasting one, so just be careful. Uh, um, resurrection... Bring back the Bounty Stalker. You die to Little Fade. And you take 61 yourself. We can put Bounty Stalker on the second floor. He'll get the kill. And I could just crushing Demi... Actually... Bam! Reform him again. And replay. And then just pop this, because I might as well, for the extra gold. Uh, this one is Weight of Contrition. Okay. I could Inferno. That would put a Weight of Contrition on my draw pile. And then be able to resurrect you both. I don't think that's worth it. Primitive Mold. Bring back Little Fade. Little Fade punches you. You kill them. You kill him. Uh, I have nothing to resurrect. your spells, but you take 300. Oh, baby. Pop you, get me my gold, and... It's not time to Welder Helper. Not yet. Alright. Lord of the Dark Sword, you're just gonna cut through them a hot knife through butter. Let me slow you down tremendously. Good lord, that's not a lot of slowdown. I don't... Uh, I can do another primitive mold, so pop you down and primitive mold you again. Oh, that's half your health gone. Oh, baby, we can do a lot of reformation. Uh, Little Fade is not the de facto tank, but oh my god. 
I mean, I know Little Fade is a little ridiculous at this point in the sheer amount of damage she deals when you kill her, but this is, this is, um, amazing. Give me money. Yeah. What do we got here? The formless child. I mean, it could work. One horn's tome. I can't use it. Nope, nope, don't even consider it. I, I cannot think of a way to use it. Trying to think. So Formless Child dies. It can return a random defeated unit to my hand. Does that mean? Does that mean I can return Winged? No, I don't think I would put something like that in the game. That would be. It'd be interesting, but I I cannot conceive of them actually going through with the Formless Child and doing that. Is that useful for what I'm doing here? No. I'm going with permanent buffs. It can return them both for the price of one if I do certain sacrificial outlets, but it's it's not worth it. I'm just going to skip. Have I run out of coin, or have I run out of energy before where it's actually been important? No. I think just drawing the cards is more important. So we have a Merchant of Trinkets, a Duplicate, which I don't think the Duplicate's actually that helpful right now. I think we're just going to go for the Merchant of Trinkets. Rage does not decay. When you play your third card of the turn, draw one. <sighs> rage does not decay on friendly units. Well, we can apply Rage. Applying Rage isn't bad. Swing, swing, slap. Mm, it's better than 25 gold, because 25 gold now is not going to make a huge difference. What can we get here? It's the exact same extinguish effect from before. However, since we've already gone so far down this list, we're just going to make Little Fade scale even faster. This is a trap. So, so hard this is a trap. I would love Impsicle in any other run, but this one, ah, uh -uh, denied. Okay. Okay. Is this permanent? No, this is not permanent. I think Resin Block will actually make our attack grow faster, so I'm just going to use a Resin Block, because that's kind of what, what I was looking for. And we have another Merchant of Trinkets with the Merchant of Magic, which is what I'm looking for. And a Duplication. I eh, don't care for the Duplication, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. What's this next fight? They restore all health. They're not making it... Uh, okay, Shade Wings, no, they will not make it through. Gilded Wings, maybe. I think we can handle them. Because I didn't see a tank amongst this group. I know they're going to have it, but I didn't see something that actually was tanky. Can I off you? I mean... Wait. Oh yeah, you deal 12. Right. Uh, we can do Paraffin Enforcer. You swing for 25, but that doesn't matter. You're dazed. 
and confused. You sh you won't run away, so that's fine. I could burst, but I think the Bounty Stalker here will actually do more. Do I Crushing Demise first? No, no, just, just kill him and you'll burn out and we'll revive you and do it again. Do a Reformation, put out Little Fade. Little Fade will die, but will kill off the Steel Wings and you. I should just Crushing Demise. No, 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 no. Am I Crushing Demise? Well, it doesn't make any difference now, does it? Yeah, it literally doesn't make any difference. Just move you up here, you get killed by the pyre. I think either one that gets resurrected will work. Actually, Little Fade doesn't. Little Fade does not work. Hmm. You tank. I can hit you twice and that will kill you. Oh no, it won't. God, why am I like this? I can't read. Should I hit you twice? Because now I... No, no, no. Because you'll... St no. Yes. Yes. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I diggity don't know. All right, I'm getting confused. Oh well, give me money, make me feel better. We'll play the burnout card, get it out of the way. I can't stop the tank, man. Um. I can only resurrect one, but I think that works, because it will be the Bounty Stalker. And Bounty Stalker will guaranteed kill them both. We're taking 40 damage from you, but that's fine. You both die, he lives, he kills whoever gets to the next area. You drop dead from these two, but that's also fine. I wish I could Inferno, but I don't have the energy for it. Uh, you take a lot of damage, but it's not enough for me to really care. You straight up die, but at the same time, I don't want that to happen. Little Fade can intercede. Yes, you burn out, you all die. Okay, that's perfect. Um, I could ascend you. So you drop dead, you drop dead, you burn out. So adding another one to the mix won't change anything. Hmm. Actually, wait. Wait a tick, wait a tick, wait a tick. Uh, you can ascend, because you literally can't do any harm. So both of these will die to Little Fade. Anyway. Oh, but that would have been another kill. What is wrong with me? Yeah. I'll just make my displeasure known. I mean, it's piercing. You would die either way. This kills you both off. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll Sacred Wicks back, the two of you. You're on Burnout 3. I can Crushing Demise you later. Because I'll just place you here. You'll get your kill. I'll place Little Fade down here, and I will heal you. I don't know if this guy's a sweeper. I didn't pay attention again because I'm the greatest person when it comes to these types of things. Crushing Demise? No. No, 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 no. You'll both die to Little Fade, yes, before you get 
ton of swings. Well, actually, you'll both swing once. Little Fade kills you both. Swing, swing, swing. Yeah, no, 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 that should be fine. So just toss all the burns on you, because I want Little Fade to get these kills. Uh, Primitive Mold. Got Little Fade. Little Fade steps up to the plate. And you are almost dead instantly. This guarantees that you won't die. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Money, money, money! Money! Mortal Entrapment. A tune to deal 25 damage and applies dazed 3 to an already damaged unit. If it was earlier in the run and if this cost maybe like 2, possibly. However, I don't have anything that boosts magic power. So we're going to skip it. I actually am not familiar with the Seraph at all, so we'll see what we get. Okay, I need to upgrade my spells. I would love to duplicate stuff, but my spells are kind of the workhorse of this. So, money, spells. There's nothing to deal with consume-wise. Just gonna put this down on Inferno. Reroll. Hold over. I could hold over Inferno and just Inferno every turn. It just kind of seems funny to me. Oh my gosh, wait. I was like, that seems funny to me. I could easily do that. Wait, no, you're right. I can just constantly spam it. There is literally no downside. Merchant of Trinkets. Units get an extra upgrade slot is funny. Uh, we're putting Little Fade in the harm's way a lot. Also, three magic power. Will that make a difference? No. There's nothing we have that's attuned, so it won't give enough powerful benefits. Most of our units are dying in solo, so I don't think Mold Bracers is actually good. We'll look for a different one. Flickers, liquors. I'll take it. Hellvent. Uh, a double Bounty Stalker, I think, is actually going to be what saves my life. That or double Inferno for a couple hundred, but no, no, no. I think double Bounty Stalker is actually the best. So, you already joined the fight. Attacks every turn applies melee weakness to your front unit and gains attack on Rally and Incant. Alright, I don't think I've seen this one. Okay, Seraph. We're gonna hope that my stealth can overpower you. Rally for plus three attack permanently. Well, the attack is not going to matter. I'm going to be straight up with that. It just will not matter. Ooh, wait. I can start off by dealing... I can start off by dealing more than 500 health in damage. Instantly. So, why shouldn't I? I'll deal with that one later. Um, can I? I don't think I can. Yeah, if I ascend you... You're, you're still going to deal 12. I can't avoid that. Alright. Reform. 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 Uh, Little Fade is a definite yes. Bounty Stalker 1 is a definite yes. Bounty Stalker 2? I'm not going to place down on Rally just yet. Um, Actually, yeah, we can we can do it. And I could put down a Paraffin Enforcer. You can kill one, and then the, you'll die to burn out on the other. 
It's one damage for 12 of mine. We should do this again sometime. Uh, I'm thinking about just doing hollow drippings. Wait. I don't know if this works. Oh my god, it actually does. It gets around the entire clause of my units being unable to... If I summon them there, but not if I ascend them. Why did I never consider this? I'm killing Seraph before Seraph gets a chance. Melee weakness two times, combat damage. I could Inferno. I should Inferno. The only one attacking is you. And I have no resurrection stuff. That would pop not kill all of them, but kill a lot of them. Or I Welder Helper and Seraph kills it, but no one kills this one. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Uh, I could Welder Helper out in the front, but I, I can't afford it. I can resurrect you. Wait, that puts three things in the resurrection pool, Brain Boy. Yeah, but two of those three are good. One is Little Fade. And Little Fade gets to die but laugh at dealing a horrific amount of harm. I'm trying my hardest to actually get this to work in my favor, but it's just not happening. Well, melee weakness is happening. I can't avoid that. Um, do some unit reformation. Little phase. Paraffin. Get back down there. Uh, little fade. You can kill him, and the other one will take 113. You'll drop dead. You're dazed. Can I send you? No. You'll block, and you'll deal 200 damage, so that's fine. Uh, Memento Mori. Oh, I can reform another, which means I can reform Bounty Stalker. Which means these two drop dead. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I wish I could hit the one in the back, but I just don't have that opportunity. Hmm. Actually, no, this is better. Because this now deals 400. Yeah, this is better. I am trying to kill Seraph. He is just not making it easy for me to find a good opportunity. Why the melee weakness? Why? Mm. I need the crushing demise first. Molded. Molded. I don't want the paraffin. Okay, now here's the problem with this. It's uh, going to start resurrecting things that it really shouldn't. You tank, and of course, nothing good. <sighs> Irritating. Well, I have two things in the resurrection pool that I really don't want, and I was so hopeful to kill Seraph. But I cannot do so. Get out of here. Oh, there's a bounty stalker again. Wait. And we are going to... I can ascend you. I will ascend you. I can memento mori you, meaning all the harm is now on you. For the vast majority of your health. 
I can't prevent you from dying, but I can do a horrific amount of harm to you. And that's all I care about. We, there, it, the possibility existed for killing Seraph now. The possibility existed, but it's just not going to happen. Mostly because this stuff keeps happening. Oh, there's Little Fade. Um, Little Fade can appear. Uh, you can sway, you die. Little Fade kills you. Uh, we're just going to guarantee it. Take your rally. It doesn't matter. We win. We literally win. Thank you, Little Fade, for being horrifically overpowered. If you can scale it enough. I admit a lot of this scaling was entirely from my own shenanigans. I'm still sad that I basically threw the first run. Wow, we took bonuses on every single one except one of them? Add a copy of the Allied Clan starter card to your starting deck. Hell yeah. Little Fade is now gold and Crushing Demise, Paraffin Enforcer, and several others are now golden. Excellent. Neat.